Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer Dale and today's question is, have you ever complimented yourself during your practice sessions? So I know, I know, I know, I know that you are an expert at criticizing yourself. You can tell me exactly how many things you've done wrong, where the thing doesn't sound right, where your voice is weak, where you don't like this, it didn't make sense, it didn't do what you wanted it to do, you couldn't play it the way that you wanted, etc., 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 etc. Like you have gold star after gold star lined up in being able to tell yourself everything that you've done wrong. And we all do it, right? It's very normal to focus on this because we want to get better. We want to do things well. And the first conclusion or the first assumption is that we just have to focus on what's wrong in order to make it right. And while there is some truth to that, we do need to have critical analysis in order to get better, what generally happens is you fail to actually identify the progress that you're making. And so then you just get stuck in this like loop of, oh, I don't like this. This didn't work. This isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't working. So no matter how much better you get, no matter how much progress you've made, you never feel like you've gotten better because you're still stuck in everything that's wrong. So I have a challenge for you and you, my lovely people, I know you are up for the challenge. So number one, I want you to sit down and come up with three things, three things, just three, that you like about your voice, your singing, your playing, your performing, how you sang this song, how you hit this note, how um, you relate to an audience, how comfortable you are on stage, something that you do well. Now I know that most likely what's gonna happen is you're gonna say, yes, but blah, 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 right? Yes, but I have you know, to work on this, or yes, I have to work on that. We all have things to work on. We all have things to work on. Hugh Jackman, who is a phenomenal singer, after 30 years still takes lessons on a weekly basis. And I mean, come on, he's like at the top of his game, right? So we always have things to work on, period. That's fine. But where we want to start going is to recognize when you're actually making progress so you can see how much better you're getting because when you feel like you're being successful you're going to do more if you notice that you want to sing things perfectly or you want to play things perfectly let me let you in on a little secret about perfection it's the easiest excuse out there because everybody has a different definition of it it never feels like it's possible. It never can be done sustainably. And everybody can say that there's something wrong. So ergo, it's just not something that you're going to hit. And ironically, most of the time when we shoot for, for perfection, that's when you're gonna find yourself avoiding practicing. You don't really wanna try the new thing because you want to do things right. You have to do things right. And that takes a lot of joy out of the singing. You know, it takes a lot of joy out of the playing, the performing, etc. And one of the reasons we like to do this is because it's fun. So instead of shooting for perfection in your next, your next song, your next piece, I want you to shoot for doing it well, doing it excellently, doing it enjoyably. But it cannot be perfection. It's got to be something besides that. So um, in the comment boxes below, make sure you like, click all the good things, but I would love to hear either a video or a comment. One thing that you like about your voice, about your playing, about your singing, about your performing, like give me one thing that you like. And if you think somebody else can benefit from this, if you could please share the video to them, I would be so grateful. That's it for today. I'm Jennifer Dale. You have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.